Well, a very warm welcome to morning prayer today on Monday, the 17th of January. I hope that you had a really good weekend um, and um, maybe you joined us yesterday for worship in one of our churches. Um, and today we are remembering um, Anthony of Egypt, a um, hermit from the fourth century, as well as Charles Gore, Bishop, founder of the Community of the Resurrection from um, the 1900s, 1932. Um, we're also praying across the diocese on what is Blue Monday. Um, we're praying for all those who live with the effects of depression. Um, so we'll be um, very pleased to do that. Um, and um, clearly it's a, an important um, issue that affects lots of people. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. The Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm for today, Psalm 145, is a psalm of praise. I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is beyond all searching out. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts. They shall speak of the majesty of your glory and I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. They shall speak of the might of your marvellous acts and I will also tell of your greatness. They shall pour forth the story of your abundant kindness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. The Lord is loving to everyone and his mercy is over all his creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mighty power to make known to all peoples your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is sure in all his words and faithful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and give, you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and fill all things living with plenty. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over those who love him, but all the wicked shall he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. And let all flesh bless his holy name for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. We turn to the New Testament, to Matthew chapter 24, which we've been working our way through recently. 
we're coming um, towards the end, four chapters or so from the end, and we find ourselves in Matthew 24, verses 1 to 14. As Jesus came out of the temple and was going away, his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. Then he asks them, then he asked them, you see all these buildings, do you not? Truly, I tell you, not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, tell us, when will this be and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered them, beware that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is not yet. The nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All this is but the beginning of the birth pangs. Then they will hand you over to be tortured and will put you to death. And you will be hated by all nations because of my name. Then many will fall away, and they will betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because of the increase of lawlessness, the love of many will grow cold. But anyone who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. And then the end will come. worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. So we turn to our prayers of intercession now as we pray for the church, the world and the day ahead of us. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for the psalmist. Whose words shout out praise to you. Lord, we thank you that you are a loving and a wonderful God. Thank you that we can always come to you in the knowledge that you are faithful and you hear us. Lord, help us to put our faith in you. Lord, as we hear these words of Jesus, challenging words to those disciples, so we pray that we would be ever watchful and alert to your presence, that you would keep us faithful, even though the challenges and the storms of the world threaten to draw us away. Help us, Lord, to remain steadfast in you lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord we thank you for the worship that was offered in your churches here yesterday thank you for every person who was drawn to come and join us lord we pray for the seeds sown during those services that they will bear fruit this week as we go about our lives. Lord, we thank you for the reflections that we shared on um, Jesus turning water into wine. We pray, Lord, that that will be <coughs> our experience this week, that you will that you will turn water into wine in our lives, that somehow you will work in extraordinary ways in ordinary places. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for your church, thanking you for St John's Staple Grove and for All Saints Norton Fitzwarren, praying that you would bind us together in unity and common purpose. 
Lord, we pray for the communities that we serve, that we may indeed be a blessing. Pray for the wider deanery. <clears throat> we pray for our diocese too, led by Bishop Ruth. In particular, for the process to identify and appoint the next Bishop of Bath and Wells, led by Archdeacon Simon. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will lead that process. You would raise up the person to take us on with you on the next stage of our journey. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as across our diocese today, we're, we're asked to pray for those who suffer from the effects of depression, <clears throat> whether that be as individual sufferers or those who live with those who suffer lord we know that it's there's a lot of it about and in so many different ways people are affected lord we thank you for those who support those who suffer from mental health whether that be through our doctor's surgeries or otherwise Lord, we thank you that there's so much more support available these days than ever there was before. Lord, we pray that those who need help will indeed find it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Lord, we continue to pray for the world. We pray for our prime minister and government recognising the challenges that they face. Lord, we pray for the continuing decisions to be made on the, uh, on the pandemic, as we hope and pray that we'll be released from our restrictions, such as they are at the moment. Lord, we, we know that there are many people who are still living in fear and anxiety who are rightly reluctant to, uh, to mix. So Lord, we pray through your Holy Spirit that those who do make decisions on our behalf will be guided and will find the right balance between freedom and health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as always, we bring before you those we know who are suffering in body, mind or spirit, those who are ill, physically or mentally, those who are just struggling with life. So we do bring before you uh, John and Rosemary and Jean, praying that they would have a sense of your presence. And bringing before you too those who grieve the friends and families of Pat Batten, of Jeffrey Dennett, Viv Davis, and of John Beagle. Lord, we pray that you would pour out your strength and love upon those who mourn and miss them. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us today, not least for the meeting of our house group. Lord, we thank you for the course that we're following, exploring Paul's letter to the Philippians. Thank you that it's been such a blessing so far. And we pray for today's session that you will speak to us through your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray too for the meeting this evening of the PCC at Norton. We thank you for the agenda that lies before us. We pray again that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide us, that all that we discuss and agree will be inspired by you as we seek to further your kingdom here in our place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So today, as we remember um, Antony of Egypt, the, uh, the hermit from the fourth century, 
So our collect, most gracious God, who called your servant Anthony to sell all that he had and to serve you in the solitude of the desert. By his example, may we learn to deny ourselves and to love you before all things. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And believing the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. So may Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I hope you have a really good day. It looks quite bright and sunny today. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to um, get out and take advantage of that um, and um, look forward to catching up with you again soon. Take care. <laughs>